So in this particular uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate the box in Photoshop so it looks photorealistic. Uh, first, you create an illustration of the box in Illustrator. Now we're going to create one that looks uh, real. I've got uh, a rough example of what your packaging without the text might look like. So here's a box I'm going to use as a, as a template. And then here is a piece of uh, card that um, we're using for texture. Make sure the layers are named. On the box, you're going to use the polygon lasso tool just to create, click around the box. You're going to select it. I'm going to option drag these two sides down so that uh, I, these are going to be um, the, the sides of the box. This is going to be left. This is going to be top. Actually, this is going to be front. So I have the uh, marching ants with the polygonal lasso tool around the front side. I'm quite simply going to hit the uh, mask. So I've now masked the, 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 the front side of the box. Now let's do the left side. Boom. Boom. Please pardon the interruption. Junior class meeting has so there's the left Please side. Junior students with the last name A through L to enter your class and without penalty. Just like Thanks. the before, I'm now going to uh, click on the masking tool. And then as you can see, I have the, the left and the right. It's not quite matching up. That's okay. And now we're going to do the top. So again, polygon or lasso tool. Click the corners of the box. And then on that one and again click the mask so now we have all three sides should look something like this don't worry about these fine edges we're going to cover that up now the next thing we need to do is um, add various shading to this actual uh, box so what I'm going to do is on the top I'm going to click and add a hue saturation mask and I'm going to option click the bottom edge of this so that it masks only the top and then over here as you see these tools are now available Let me just put that there. we got the hue saturation and lightness so I'm just going to let's say the top is a bit light and uh, drop the saturation saturation a touch so that's that one. On the left side, let's uh, darken that one up quite a bit. So again, I'm going to add a hue saturation. And just to show you what it does without, so if I don't mask it down, if I don't option click that, so it only pertains to the left side, let's show you what it does. So this one, I'm going to lower the lightness. Uh, increase the saturation a little bit but you see it really makes uh, gray, gray the background as well so when we when we option click that lower edge it only then pertains to the left side um, do I need to do anything I think I'm gonna leave the front it's good enough for me and what you can do is click one shift click the next right click and then create a group from layers this is the top let's do the same with this this is going to be group from layers left and then we'll do the same group from layers and then this is going to be front so now we got a clean method to kind of go in and have a look so let's add some shading to the left hand side so I click on the layer. Actually, I'm going to click on the hue saturation mask. I'm going to add a layer above. I'm going to get my brush, make it appropriately large, and then 
what you can do is just um, option click using the uh, the eyedropper tool to select a color then you can click on the color and then just pull down to grab a darker shade of that color and I'm just gonna paint in like so All right. now I'm gonna go in and see what layer mode kind of looks nice I actually like the overlay but again I just want to show you if we don't do that to only show on that side panel what we got to do is option click the lower portion of that and again it will uh, it will mask onto the the item below it so then I'm going to go back to overlay because I kind of like that and then I'm going to reduce the opacity of that overlay so it looks decent maybe on the front let's close that on the front uh, let's add some lightness so I'm going to add a layer change the color to white and then make the brush a bit bigger and I'm just going to sweep across this edge like so again I'm going to option click the lower so it only pertains to the shape and not the background and then go over and find uh, a, a layer mode that really suits I'm going to do overlay actually let's try soft light or soft light eh, too much I'm going to do uh, overlay and then reduce the opacity Just a little hint, and then the top will do. I'll put some darkness uh, maybe on this corner here. Not that that makes much sense, but let's do it anyway. And just to show you, we could even do kind of black. And again, option click on the lower of the uh, of the shade so it pertains let's look at what overlay looks like I like that again and we could even build that up in in uh, in severity so the more it kind of goes back the darker it gets and then I'm going to just d delete this side All right, and then the last thing is I'm going to put a layer on top. And this is going to be called edges. You could keep on going on this all day, really. Um, and then I'm going to shrink it down so it's so it's small. And let's click right on the edge here. Brush. I was in a razor. Brush. Hold down the shift. Click. Still holding the shift. Click. And so I'm getting these. I'm getting these straight edges. And this is to add. This is to add some dimension to it. So it's a little bit too dark right now. So what we can do, number one, is go up under uh, our layer mode. I like that, overlay. And then the second thing is, uh, let's, do, let's do a non-destructive mask, All right? And we hide this image by painting black so we can paint black but I'm only going to paint like 20 percent and just kind of brush 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 and take it away a little bit at a time to where you feel all right 
right? And I'm just deleting, as you see, th these are the areas that I'm deleting away. And it kind of is starting to fill. Then the only other thing I would say is I want to round off these edges because it's too perfect right now. So there's a bunch of ways we could do that. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to duplicate layers. I'm going to put the bottom batch into a folder. And I'm going to turn it off. Right? So we got all the originals in here. And I'm going to grab all this. I'm going to see I'm gonna convert here's the, the, the a trick I'm gonna convert this to a smart object then I'm gonna rasterize the layer all right so um, there's some stuff let's see right, let's just go into these so top so in this mask I undid that because um, that gave me something else I, I worry about. I'm just going to erase up here. The corner of this. And I just need to make sure that my... Alright, so now I'm going to do... left side this is this is too much it's too much but I'm just rounding off the corners and then that's the, this one I need to do Do a hard brush. Let's do this edge. And let's do this one. Then we can move all this around so it overlaps and we get rid of any. All right, so these are rounded off too much, but I just want to show you. Let's try and do this one right. That's better. Let's do this one. Bless you. And what you could do, if you really wanted to make sure you got it right, is let's put a layer behind all of them. Let's go to brush. Go do a hard brush. Make sure the opacity is up. And I chose a color and I'm just painting behind the box. And I'm filling up those gaps. you got a bit more of an organic looking box okay hope that helps